uh, hey, what is your expectation? What do you think would, should a man support? What would you like? Or just listening to her and then you already get a better idea. Most women are serious, most women are honest, most women are sincere, most women really want to find that right partner. But some women are looking for something different. Money, visas, whatever. It's not the majority, I know that the prejudice is that. It's not the majority, but there are some women who, scam, who like to get you into a scam, you know, because they know it's easy. And sometimes you guys don't see the red flags and don't and get and, and spend money and money and money and money to a woman who's really not seriously interested in you, if not just in your money, and you don't realize it. Um, so let me get you a couple of tips. So it is important to build a strong foundation of trust, obviously, and that takes time, yeah? So it's not that quick as well. And take your time to get to know the person. I always say that. So first, and I said that in the, all of the other topics of the day as well, open and honest communication. Open and honest communication is key. If, if you're not open and honest and she's not open and honest and you not tell her what you want and what you expect and what she does, then obviously it's um, very difficult and there might be a lot of disappointment. So having an open and honest discussions about financial expectations, desires and needs. Establish a clear communication about money from the beginning. So what does she expect? What do you expect? I would not talk about it on the first date. met somebody and you found that person and you start that relationship, ask her, hey, what is your expectation? What do you think would, should a man support? What would you like? Obviously, liking and getting is one, two different things, right? But just listening to her and then you already get a better idea, you know, and, and also talk about it from the beginning because it might be an issue uh, in the future. So the clearer and more honest you can be and also don't be pissed on your American standpoint. Obviously, she will be in her Colombians. Talk about it in the beginning, and the more you know what you want to give and what she know what she can expect, the, the clearer. It is normal that the man supports the woman financially. The question, the question is when. Some women do expect it already in the beginning of the dating. Some women do expect it after a while of the dating. Some women do expect it when you get engaged. Some do expect it when you get married. You guys, most of the times, expect to pay money to her once you are in a stable relationship or engaged to her. Once you are engaged to her, you most of the times are very open to spend your money to, with her. Once you, As long as you're not engaged, you're not. Which is understandable. But just because you're engaged doesn't mean, you know, that as, that can be the scam. The scam can be exactly that. I get engaged to you and I know you're going to spend on me without any problem. So not engaged, engaged, serious relationship or not, it's important to talk about the expectations. Monster. Understand her motivations. Understand why your partner is requesting money. So in case she asks, why is she asking? Ask about her financial situation and the reasons behind the request. Exactly, because if you if you're in the US and your income is six thousand dollars a month and that is, you know, here a lot of money. Here somebody earns two hundred dollars a month. So if you know that she has a job where she gets paid three hundred dollars a month and she's killing herself eight hours a day and she has a child and she has to take care of all that and it's very difficult the situation. It's normal and maybe understand where she comes from that she might want some support. And it doesn't mean that she's just taking advantage of you. So that's why I'm saying it's a fine line to see where's advantage, where's not, and to understand where she comes from, why she's requesting money is important. authenticity. If your partner requests money for a specific situation, for example, my mom is in the hospital, ask for evidence or proof to support her need. Make sure the request is leg leg legit, legitimate. So that sounds maybe like very um, not trustful, not like you're not trusting her, but you, why would you trust her right away? And if she wants your money, and she has a good reason, then she might have a photo of her mom lying in the hospital, right? or of her, her, of her son sick or whatever, or the uh, rent which has to be paid and whatever. Mm, there are different, as I said, you have to see where where is the authenticity and why is she request, requesting us. Tip is don't share personal financial information. 
avoid disclosing sensitive financial information such as credit card numbers or passwords um, unless you have a complete trust in your partner and there's a valid reason to do so. Yes, some of you guys want to show off a little bit what you can offer her and what you can provide and how good of a provider you are. And that is great that you are a good provider and you can let her know that you are a good provider. Uh, but you cannot let her know how much and what enters and how much is your house worth and how much is on your bank account. I got bank account statements from clients saying, look how much I have on my bank account. So that's great, but never send it to a woman. You can send it to me, don't worry. Or don't send it to anybody else, right? The same thing, credit card information, etc. If you give her money, for example, but I know you borrow her 1 million pesos and she gives it back to you next time, 1 million pesos, count the money. Don't think she just gave you 1 million. Maybe she just gave you 800,000, right? Count the money, verify. Uh, really proof, make proof of what we say and not just let her talk and talk. They're very good at manipulating talking and like making herself a victim and her dad just died or her grandfather has whatever, cancer in the stomach and now he needs that $1,000 for the funeral, whatever, but ask, yeah? Don't send money up front. Refrain from sending money without verifying the situation, without compelling evidence. Don't to so come to pressure to send money quickly. So sometimes like they make it urgent. No, I need this money now because if that's not going to happen, I don't get that money. My grandfather's going to die and we cannot pay for the medicament or whatever. So she puts the urgency, she puts the pressure on you because you want to help you send the money. Trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel right or makes you uncomfortable, trust your intu uh, intuition. And if it makes you comfortable, talk about it. Don't feel obligated to fill money requests if you have doubts. You are not obligated to anything. And she will not leave you right away just because you're not sending money, right? You have to understand obviously where she comes from. Maybe there's a good reason or maybe her expectation is I have a man and I'm a provider. trusted friends and family. That is a point where you have to be sometimes a little bit careful, but it can be also good to talk sometimes about it because if you share your concerns with your um, trusted individuals in your life, they might have you some to get some more external perspective about the problem. And so maybe they can tell you what they think. Still, if you're not sure, talk about it or just call us and let us know and hey, he's asking for that, our situation is that. Do you think that's appropriate? And I'm happy, we're happy to help you there. Build a trust-based relationship. Trust is built over time through transparency, honesty, and consistency. Work together to strengthen mutual trust. Very important. Maintain the balance in the relationship. Shouldn't be solely based on financial matters. Dedicate time to build. Dedicate time to build an emotional connection and share the experience that enhance your bond. Exactly. Communication and trust are fundamental in a relationship. If you have concerns or doubts, address them with respect and honesty. You're totally um, allowed to talk about it and say, hey, I don't understand. I'm We are here and here, but you are requesting that and that. Why is that? And what is your expectation like? Whatever. Yeah. So what we already said, like really open and honest communication to really ensure that she's really not just into you or if you see why when she asks money, how to react. And if you obviously have the feeling that it's just about that, then I would rather stop the relationship and also tell her honestly, hey, I have just a feeling that it's just about money. So I don't think that we are really compatible because it seems like you're not interested in me. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Angelsofpassion.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.